Excuse you for what? I don't feel very good. Oh, I feel better now. Ooh, a chocolate chip. Mmm. Sweetheart. <laughs> Hey there, my sweeties. Aww. Would you like Daddy to finish the story for you? Yeah? The children were nestled all snug in their beds. Well, visions of sugar plums. Oh, are you telling them the night before Christmas? That's the best Christmas story ever. And I'm the best teller ever. I got better than anybody. I got to commit some memorization. All right, everybody. Donkey. Everybody gather around. Wait. I'm supposed to tell the Christmas story. Oh, my gosh. That is so close. We could get our lives back, right? The night before Christmas, and I spent all the day finishing up on my Christmas display. Now, missing all this would be nothing but tragic. So just follow me, and I'll show you the magic. Now, out in the yard, in the glorious flutter, is a spectacle there that'll make your heart flutter. With 20-foot cheese balls and a big eggnog fountain and yodeling elves on an ambrosia mountain. A stage where acrobats jump, beat, and prance. And out of the day, through interpretive dance. But just when you think the display is complete, the Christmas parade comes right down the street. With holiday floats all in silver and blue, with sugar plum fairies and a reindeer, too. There's a baton twirling snowman all happy and perky, magical peacocks, and a dancing roast turkey. Everybody dance now! And right when you think that you've just seen it all, comes a huge waffle dancer that's 50 feet tall! Hey, hey. With syrup and butter, the sight just amazes as it's played by a choir all singing his face. Donkey! Santa? Donkey! Santa! Donkey! Oh! Very inappropriate, amigo. Please, allow me. Oh, puss, not you too. Mm -hmm. My homeland would tell a very different tale of the Santa Nicolas. He's not made of waffles. This Santa was suave. It was nothing like that. The Santa I know was a hot, Latin cat. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his paws. And he stood there heroic. A real Santa. Claus. Red are his boots. And so is his cape. Oh, nice. His sword is a cane that tastes like crab cake. He wears a fine belt and a leather cravat. And there's a cute fuzzy thing which hangs down from his hat. I have shame to myself. All right, everybody. If you leave now, you can beat the holiday traffic. Oh, Bowie, with all your sunshine and lollipops. Where I come from, Christmas is a nightmare. <sighs> Ahem. It was the night before Christmas, and the prettiest sights were my sweetheart beside me and the bright Christmas lights until they got home. And they looked at the car door handle, and they found... Oh, you cut it out. You're really giving me the creeps. Oh, come on. I was just teasing. Come here, you. Oh, Gingy, I couldn't stay mad at you. What was that? Oh, no, you don't. I'm not falling for that again. No, I'm really, really seriously not kidding. Ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Now you know that's not how it goes. But guess what? I stopped being a baby the day you guys walked out on me. You weren't there! 
Yeah. All right, everyone, I've had just about enough. All I wanted was a nice Christmas with my family. And that's exactly why we're all here. Now, come on, let's finish telling my story. Oh, no, Donkey, that's not what I meant. And get out of my chair. Oh, hey, what's this? Donkey, let go of the book. Where are you whispering? I'm not kidding, Donkey. Give me the book. Taco Dial Supreme. Yeah. 